morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Karen Emerson, and today I have with me my technician, Skylar, and this is actually her pug, Hamlet. Now, Hamlet presented a few months ago. Skylar said that you know he was having trouble breathing. You can hear a little bit of the trouble he has breathing. He was snoring. Uh, tell, just tell a little bit, Skylar, what all was he doing at home? Uh, at night and just keeping you up. Yeah, he was keeping us up at night. He just wasn't, he, he seemed really restless. I couldn't really get him to exercise any because he could not breathe. breathe. Now, what was going on is he had something called stenotic nares, and all that means is the little, his little nose was so overgrown over his airway that he could hardly pass any air back and forth through his nasal cavities. So, of course, we talked about it. I, I talked to her. We actually did something called a stenotic nary surgery where I went in and I actually took out a piece of wedge on each nostril and I sewed it back together and I opened up his nasal cavity so that he could move air. This is a basically a brachiocephalic breed. This type of breed you see in pugs, you see in uh, Pekingese, Shizus, you can even sometimes see them in um, Boston Terriers, and you can see them sometimes in these smaller pit bull breeds. And this is something that is quite common, and this is something that is easily fixed. He is uh, five years old, so he's been struggling this for a long time, and I'm so glad that we could finally do this. He was actually able to get a good night's sleep and not wake himself up trying to move air. Surgery went great. It only He wasn't under anesthesia very long. So if you have a brachiocephalic breed, one that's having trouble breathing, snoring a lot, one that just can't go out and get the ball because they, they can't move air, give us a call. We do that procedure. It's very safe, and I promise your pets will thank you. I hope you have a great week. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.